On the couch, distortion of static will be right back. If you were watching Distortion 2 stat at the book static. That is beautiful. It's just spinning around. Yeah, yeah. Little, These, little display case we got here, you know. The most beautiful part about it is what's there. What is it? Why don't you tell them what's on there? Uh number one we got let me catch this. We got the Beat Junkies DVD. It's called the Private Stash. I've seen it. It's got exclusive footage. It's pretty funny. It's got a lot of DJ. I can't even tell you the DJs on it because that'll give away the trivia question. True. So um, if you get this, then you'll be able to answer the trivia question, no problem. Exactly. Oh, if you miss if you miss that in the segment, go out and buy this, and it's you'll cool. get the trivia question correct. Right. Visit BeatJunkies.com or I can't tell you the other websites because that'll also give the trivia <laughs> question away. All right, hold on. Let me get the other. You gotta one. Gotta time. Woo! It's like double dutch. <laughs> Alright, we got Mac Dre, straight out of Vallejo, V-Town, you know, support independent hip-hop right here. Mac Dre's been doing it for a while in the Bay, can't front. Check him out. Banging, banging. 14 raps, all boo-boo. All boo-boo, what does that mean? If you hear, you'll find out. Alright, check it out. But well, I actually got a party to promote. A party to promote. Alright, promote it! <laughs> Yo, it's uh, well, I got the paper right here. It's a uh, Sons of Sons presents Past the Peace Sunday the 23rd at FM Studios in Emeryville. The address is 5765 Low Street in Emeryville. They're gonna, it's gonna be hip hop, reggae, soca, live performances. There's gonna be girls for boys, it's gonna be boys for girls. Sounds good. Be, Sounds good. Off the hook. So check that so out. Check that out. But yeah. first, let's check out this video. No, no, no. Segment. Oh, segment. Let's do that, man. We're ready. Taboo. We're ready. So, this is Babu. I rub for the Dilated Peoples. Uh, and the turn -table beach Junkie crew. On the world famous Beat Junkie Volume 1. I was always bouncing around until about seven when my dad got stationed out in uh, Oxnard, California. You know, there's one older kid on the street, like a high school kid, this cat named Rex, and he DJ, and he had little parties in his garage, and that was my first introduction to DJ. And along that time, you know, I moved out to LA to manage Fat Beats in LA. I met Evan Rock, you know, they were they were independently selling their record, you know. I remember Evan Rock just physically going from Rainbow to the Pressing Plant straight to Fat Beats to bring their new 12 inches, and it's you know, and it just snowballed for me, uh, doing some scratches in the studio, doing a couple local shows, and before you knew it, you know what I mean, I, I became the third member of the group. And, you know, and, and along the path, I met the Beat Junkies, you know, the Beat Junkies, and we're doing our thing for, for a second in, the, in, the, in the, the whole turntable and the DJ battle scene.
changed and, and, and how I see things has really changed though. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I still very much my home is an underground, but just being that I, I roll with Dilated and we're signed to a major label, I see the other side of the fence and, and see how big a business it is to sell records. I'm really back to whether the record is a woman or it's a good, like a good record is a good record. You know, in an overground, underground, you can make it work. There's definitely time and place to play certain things. You know, for me, coming here to Frisco to play at Milk, you know, I could keep it filthy as I want. You know what I mean? But if you're going to uh, do, do a uh, spot, you know, on KME real quick, you know what I mean? It would probably have to be Ludacris Clips. You know what I'm saying? And I like that junk too. You know what I mean? I'm influenced by DJs through history, man. I love Molly Maul, Jazzy Jeff. I can go through every era. Aladdin, Joe Cooley, the X-Men, Hubert, Primo, Pete Rock. I'm personally just taking notes from all these cats. You know, I'm a big fan of DJs, man. So. How do you feel about DJs that like DJs? Steal, you know, for me personally, if it's a good record that that you never see, I'll buy that junk. <laughs> I'm not going to go toting or using it like I cut that. I'm never put it on like an original tape or or whatever, man. But um, man, there's some records you're just never going to see, man. When you do see them, you're going to be you have to go all halfway around the world and pay five hundred dollars for it. it just Educates the people who missed it, man. You know what I mean? That's another way to look at it like, you know, this beautiful music's being passed on to a different generation. You know what I mean? There's kids who just put so much of their life and energy into digging, like, it probably hurts them that they want, you know what I mean? They want to, the middle West, you know what I mean? Through dingy bins of a crazy record store, find this one copy of records to turn around and go to Amoeba and see it for 12 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, it probably hurts. I've seen that happen. Duck Season 2, it's on uh, Sequence, it's, it's a sequel of uh, this mixtape compilation series that started about a year ago. The definite big twist on it is that I, I produced a lot of it compared to the first one. The first one I only did like two joints, this one I did um, ten. So um, it was really a big step for me in my production and getting my beats out there and my production work out there. Everyone out there look out for you know my crew Beat Junkies, we got our label Beat Junkie Sound, we're doing a lot with that. and. Uh, we got a DVD called Private Stash that's out and about that everybody should check out. Um, of course, a new dilated record, February 2004, Neighborhood Watch, coming very soon. Um, me and my man Tafar, I got a record coming out at ABB Records, the Liquid Junkies. Um, go check for that. And uh, I'm really, really excited for Cats here the new album, man. Uh, yeah, man, that's about it. Thank you.